Hello YouTube. Today we are going to talk about SpyBot Search and Destroy. Some people have used it, some people have not. Some people have never even heard of this program. Some people use it all the time. I use it, I recommend running this at least once a week um, if you're a heavy computer user. If not, if you don't go on the internet that much and you don't check email or play online games or play the Facebook games or go on Facebook, you you can get away with running this every two to three weeks. But uh, if you're on Facebook a lot, I recommend doing this at least once a week running this program. It's an easy, simple program. Once you install it, which I'll get to in a second, all you do is, once it pops up and loads here, all you do is go to search for updates, click on that, it's the third button down, a window will pop up here, like so. And if there's updates, it'll let you know like this. If there's no updates, it'll pop up and show you, which I'll show in a second. Okay, but once this pops up, all you gotta do is click next. It does the default mirror by choice of your speed of your connection. So right now we're gonna get from Europe. This one shows from Europe. So we're gonna hit continue. And then it's gonna show you all the updates. If these boxes are not checked on the left, make sure they are checked. Because you wanna get the latest and greatest updates for this program, because this is gonna check you for um, anti-spam, or it's going to check you for spam, so it's an anti-spam program, slash anti-spyware program, slash anti-malware. It's a very good program, and it also um, removes tracking cookies, which is a good thing too. So once these boxes are all checked, then you want to click download. It's going to go through and download them. I don't have the fastest internet, so as this is down, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the program. And you can also cancel at any time. There's a cancel and an exit, and you can go back if it's too slow. You could try downloading from somebody else. That's what that mirror list is. You can download from a different person. They may have a faster connection. They may not. So I leave it as whatever the default is every time it loads. It's up to you if you want to change it. Um, this program does more than just remove that stuff. There's also immune which I can show you after we go through this quick little blurb and that um, protects you against online threats through your web browser. I'll show you all the threats and then how you can improve on them. And it looks like this update is just about done. Alright, and once it's done they become green circles with checks and they're all done, not checked anymore and showing that they've been downloaded. Then you just click exit and then you come back, then you'll be back at the main program screen here. And then all you gotta do is hit check for problems. And then it'll start scanning your computer here. Scan your computer for problems. And if you like to cancel any time, you can hit stop check. Otherwise, it'll finish. Once it's finished, it'll show you if there's any problems. If there's problems, there'll be a button up here at top says fix selected problems. You click that, it'll go through and fix them all. It creates a backup for you, so if it removes something that your computer needed, you can go back and do a restore. And then, so that's it for the program here. And then there's also recovery, if, like I was saying, if you need to recover stuff, it will show all your backups in here. And then under the immune here on the left, if you click on this, it'll, you know, it says my browser's open. Thing. Okay. It's going to scan. You want to close your browser before you run this, but I'm going to run it here just temporarily so you guys can see it for this tutorial. It runs through, tells you you're unprotected by this many files, and you're protected with this many, and that's your total. And then it goes through and it shows you the file, all the different things that you're not protected with. So, as long as all those are checked, it will, re it will protect you by those by hitting this immune. Click on immune, and it'll go through and, uh, protect you on all those files. goes in and prevents people from spying and seeing what websites you go to, taking in your bank information, any information you don't want them to know about, that sort of stuff. And you get a lot of these from websites, real popular websites like Facebook, MySpace. I know MySpace is not popular anymore, but they're up there. Um, trying to think of what other websites. Oh, of course, YouTube. It's a big one there. So by running this, this will help you from getting taken over or your identity stolen, stuff like that. And this could take a while, so you can want to go through and let it run. And uh, but I'm gonna move on here. 
So as this is going, I'm just going to minimize it and I'm going to go to the internet here. I'm going to show you how to get there. You want to go to Google and then you want to type in spy bot is one word space and then search as it's popping up here you can see search and destroy you can go ahead and select it and then uh, you can either download it from their website or I recommend going to CNET download.cnet.com so I'm going to go to that link there and it's going to load up here on their website CNETs and then you want to just click the download now button you can see the ratings they say it's good um, I'd say it's great it's a great program really you need this besides you need this besides a antivirus program because this does not find viruses but it finds like I said before malware and spyware so you're gonna wanna run this as well and then you can save the file and also when you install it it uh, the first time it's open actually after it's installed it's gonna ask you to do like a registry backup and I recommend doing that registry backup for sure just in case if it takes something out that it's shown enough you can go back and do a restore it's a great feature all programs should have that and then also the next step I think it asks you if you want to do updates make sure you do the updates and then you can go ahead and run your first scan it's well worth it and that's one of many programs that I use on my computer to keep me safe and clean and um, that's about it Talk to you later, YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up on the video. Have a great night.